Hey guys, I don't know how to fix it, but there's a shadow. So today I just wanted to do a quick um, video, planner video. Um, lots of planner videos coming up. So I just filmed my flip through of my 2018-2019 Erin Condren Life Planner, which was this pretty planner. Um, but today I wanted to share, I guess, a quick setup, sort of, of my new deluxe monthly planner. So a few weeks ago, I purchased a monthly deluxe planner for budgeting, but there was a slight flaw in the planner, and I um, let the team at Erin Condren know um, what happened, and I didn't realize that they were going to send me the whole like insides of a planner so i'm not going to get rid of my old one i actually did set it up with um the rip i'm just going to put some some washi tape to hopefully prevent it from ripping any further but they did send me this beautiful beautiful like the guts of this planner let me move this other one away i'm not talking about that right now so they did send me the guts. So I don't have a cover for this one, but they sent me the guts and here is the folder and it is perfect. It's perfect, perfect, no rips, no tears, no corner bumping, no staining, it's just perfect. So um, the team over at Erin Condren is just amazing and I'm just so thankful. I'm so blessed actually, because now I have another planner. Um, so I use a Scalogy notebook for my work, but it's just a plain notebook. And um, I sometimes need a calendar. So this just worked out great because it's just a monthly planner. Um, I don't have the weeks and everything. Um, I can use it for notes, note, note taking and everything. And I can use it for work or whatever just to jot down quick um, things that I have to do for work and stuff like that in addition to my Stalogy because I love my Stalogy and I'm going to use it because it's just a great it's a great notebook so for now I just wanted to use this because it's beautiful and I'm not going to put it to waste so anyway since it didn't come with a cover I have my really, really old, a few of my favorite things cover. You can tell how old this cover is. It is from 2015. So I am not sure if this was my first cover. I might be wrong. I might have purchased a planner in 2014. But anyway, this one is from 2015. And no, I think my first planner was like 2012. Yeah. My first planner was definitely like 2012. So anyway, I purchased this one in 2015, I'm assuming. Yeah, so I think, yeah, 2012 is, a, I would say, my first planner. I don't know. I have a video of my first planner, so I don't really remember the date. <laughs> anyway, so this one has 2015 and 2016's um, calendars, so... I mean, I really like this cover, but I don't really want to use it in my present planner just because of this. Maybe someday I will cover this up and figure something out. But for now, because I don't have a lot of covers, I don't collect covers or anything like that. So I'm just going to take my cover from my 2018-2019 life planner. Um, I used to have a happy planner folder here, and I it was like coming off, and it was annoying me, so I pulled it off. But whenever I peeled it off, like it left all of the sticky. So until I could find my Gugan, is it called Gugan? No, it's called um, whatever that thing. <laughs> I have like that glue stuff adhesive remover, but it's somewhere packed in my one of my boxes. So until I find it, I'm, I just put some washi tape here because it's really sticky, and um, I need to get that stickiness off. So I am going to take the cover off of this guy and because I'm going to keep this in my crafty planner 
um, room, office, whatever, creation room, I didn't want to leave it like without a cover. So I'm just going to put my old cover on it. Um, this is a really old cover. I can see, I have um, another cover that I kept. I have the, I think it's called like sand dollar cover. And you can tell like the quality really changed because my sand dollar cover is like peeling and everything. But I've had this cover for the year and I don't see any peels or tears. But like here, this one is like peeling really bad. But it's okay. I'm just using it to house my planner from last year or this year or last year's planner, however you want to call it. Um, I don't have any nails right now. <laughs> they come and go as they please. And I'm like having a hard time because I'm like in a rush, but I don't know why I'm in a rush, but I'm trying to get these in here. Oh my goodness. I, t I think that whenever, if ever I do purchase another life planner, I'm not sure if I will right now or in the future because I have a Amy Tangerine Happy Planner. But if I ever, I think I'm going to stick to 12 month planners. I feel like 18 months is such a long time to have the same planner and then even though it's still functional, you get tired of it. Okay, so a few things that I'm just gonna remove, or maybe just one thing, is this little, it matches the May uh, monthly, but I figure that I could probably use this guy. It's a little bookmark. And I think that's all that I'm gonna remove from this planner because I already removed a whole bunch of things. So this is gonna be just pretty hanging out for memories and stuff like that. All right. So I have this cover. I'm not sure if in the future I will purchase another cover. Um, I don't think I should. I mean, if they end up having like a really good sale, that's a different story. But um, I'm trying to budget and get out of debt and just live life a little bit more frugal um so for now this cover is still gorgeous and there's nothing wrong with it i know that some people like to change their covers um, um for the season and stuff like that and that's super cool but for now i'm good it were oh hold up Okay, I was like, something is wrong, but I think, there we go. Now I have, <laughs> I was like, why is there a, an extra hole for a second? Okay. Hmm, this is going to be sort of annoyingly weird. What happened? It's like the coil. It's coming off. You guys, look at this. What happened? Now I see the flaw. When you put the cover in, is annoying look do you guys see this so when the coil whenever it moves hmm so everything is pretty much up all the all the pages are up top and then there is so much gap there is so much gap here 
And then every time the coil moves, this very last hole, oh my gosh. It's like, it's, it's okay for the, for the front cover, but the back cover is where there's a problem. Do you see it? Oh my gosh, I don't even know if you guys could see what I'm talking about. But basically, like this whole, this part, do you see? So this is the front, but then this is the back cover. It's, it's off because of the way the coils were positioned. Oh my goodness. That is annoying. So like, the planner looks like it's giving me a headache. Oh my gosh. Here, there. You could clearly see that the back cover is all the way down there and then the front cover is all the way up there. And you can see that there. Like, look at this. This is how the back looks. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Thankfully, this is an extra planner, but this coil's gotta go. This is annoying. See, this is perfect. What did they do differently? It's because of like the reason why they, because they cut it, the way they cut it. I don't know what to do. One hour later or more, I don't know. I just had the most horrible planner experience ever. Oh my gosh. So a lot of these Erin Condren planner pros are just pros whenever they're uncoiling and coiling back their planners. It was horrible. So the deluxe planner that I I received, the coil was just, I don't know, something wrong. It was just horrible. So my husband tried to fix it. Um, it was slightly off, so he tried to fix it again, and then the coil broke. So anyway, I took my coil from this planner, and I put it on this planner, but then switched the coil from the monthly deluxe to this planner, uh, to this planner, so that I would still have it all together. And I switched it back, and like you can see here, like that the um, coil was chopped off pretty much. But I didn't realize that all I had to do was bend the coil back and it would have fit perfectly, but I already uncoiled it and put it onto this one. And then I took the coil from this planner and put it on my monthly deluxe. And then I ended up like moving the vellum and I put this vellum sheet on here and I, I ended up um, adding like some of the sheets from the back from some of the notes pages I ended up taking them and then I put two notes pages on each in each monthly so now there are more um, notes pages so you could see here like when the the hexagons are a different color you could tell that the pages came from the back but it's still muted and it's great and I, I think I'm going to enjoy having the additional notes pages. Like you can see here that I added more pages. Hopefully I added two in each because some of the colors are like the same. Yeah, so I added two notes pages um, in each monthly um, section but then I had the hardest time oh my gosh the hardest time with the coil I don't know how to bend it I don't know how to bend it to make it perfect but you know what I bent it I tried to make it as even as possible and I didn't even check if the covers are gonna line up correctly so I'm going to line them up. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, it was crazy. 
I don't know how much time has went by. It's Saturday. <laughs> I'm trying to go do things with my family and I ended up spending so much time uncoiling, recoiling, and then uncoiling, recoiling on these two planners. Uh, I mean, I didn't really have to do it to the old planner, but I still wanted to keep it and have a coil on it just to put it all together. Okay, so this is the front. And then let's put the coil in the back. That would, it was a nightmare, but that part is over. So hopefully I am able to put this in. Let me just get it in. All right, so here is the planner and now the cover is even. So I know the angles of whenever I'm showing you guys aren't the best. I am not this really good videographer or anything like that. So, but now, Now the cover is even and that's what I wanted because initially it was just coming off. Oh yeah, it is pretty perfect now. It's pretty perfect now and now I have the pages. Um, like the notes pages in the sections. Now I'm really going to want to use this as my budget planner with all the notes pages in the middle. But I would feel really bad because I already started using this one as my budget planner. And then I already added like stickers and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. I, and I'm definitely not going to un uncoil this to make, to put August. Nope, 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 not happening. Anyway, so, oh my gosh, that was crazy. So I used the planner, I added this page, and then I have a few things. I found my ruler, so I'm going to include my ruler here. This is a really, really old ruler. I'm still trying to look for my other ruler, but this is a really old, this is like the work hard, play hard one. And then I found this guy. I ordered this a long time ago whenever a lot of people were creating dashboards on Etsy. So I have that guy. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Back, front. I'll just put it in the front for now until I figure it out. So um, I don't remember which shop I ordered this from, but this was from Etsy years and years ago. But I still had it, so. Why not include it here? Um, let's see. Yeah, it's okay. It's kind of tough to turn, but it still works. So I have that in there. And then I did have my little orange thing. I don't know where it went because of, of this mess that was I got going on on my table because I was losing everything. this guy I hope it's hmm it's still a little off I'm gonna have to fix it it's doing the same thing that it did earlier but anyway that was my crazy video of my crazy crazy everything I'm just sticking this in anywhere actually because I don't know where to go and I kind of want to end this video because I don't even know what this video was about <laughs> it was just an Erin Condren mess I'm, I was trying to fix my deluxe monthly but it was just planner party just gone wrong so thanks so much for watching guys um, see you in another video bye